Hello, it is I, Vadim, and uh, this right here is ASRock B650M HDV slash M.2 motherboard. This motherboard is quite special because uh, I consider it to be uh, one of the best budget motherboards available for Ryzen 7000 series processors, and uh, I would like to uh, give it a bit more attention than usual in this video. In these types of videos, I usually just do the unboxing, but in this one, I want to make sure that I cover as much as I can, uh, including VRM temperatures with this motherboard. But first, let's have a look at what kind of prices you can expect for this motherboard. And in the US, it's $125 right now on Amazon. Uh, and in the UK, £129. And uh, in uh, Europe, I managed to find it for around 160 euros on Amazon, but uh, other websites have it listed for around uh, 150, 145. So uh, the price is in that region, 140 to 160, basically. And yeah, use the links in the description below. Uh, those will take you to your local Amazon uh, web store if you would like to buy this motherboard for yourself for your build or for your upgrade but without further ado let's check out what comes in the box with it right this is quite standard because uh, this is supposed to be high value uh, low budget motherboard that's why you see very simple packaging uh, nothing fancy and in terms of accessories, you get two SATA cables, as usual. Then uh, installation procedure guide for your Ryzen CPU, just to make sure that you know what you're doing. Very nice, very detailed. Every step is explained. And of course, the usual manual with you know, with, or, or with the rest of the information about this motherboard that you may need. Apart from that, get all your uh, M.2 SSD screws and whatnot. But that's it. It's just the motherboard in there. No more accessories. As you can see, that's it. And the packaging is pretty good. It's not gonna get damaged during the shipping let me just get this out of the way and we'll open that up and here is the motherboard look at that it looks very nice surprisingly <laughs> i love it in terms of design check it out it has some um, you know paint uh, over the pcb but the pcb itself is matte black have a look at that matte black very nice premium <laughs> i would say you know that's the back and i love the fact that it comes with the io shield pre-installed it is always nice to have all right i would like to start with the power design this is an eight plus two plus one power design and it is <laughs> it is quite amazing have a look at those heat sinks. They are beefy. For such a budget motherboard, these are some very, very nice heat sinks and a nice power delivery system. By the way, it's been tested and you can install the 16 core 7950X in here and at full load, test it for one hour. This motherboard doesn't go over 80 degrees on the you know on the vrms so that's very good basically that's the most powerful cpu and uh, this motherboard can handle it no problem at full power so yeah you can install any cpu you like and enjoy this motherboard and now let's move on to talking about uh, various features and specifications this motherboard has to offer let's begin with the io what kind of connections we have, DisplayPort, HDMI, 
also a couple of holes for Wi-Fi antenna and um, while we're on that subject yes there is a special M.2 mm, slot over here for that small uh, Wi-Fi module that you can uh, purchase separately and then just put it in here and wires go through here that's easy to manage install your Wi-Fi antenna and yeah I'll leave a link to one of those modules in the description below you know if you would like to add that Wi-Fi capability to this motherboard uh, this right here is BIOS flash button that allows you to uh, update your BIOS without uh, CPU installed very handy and what do we have uh, four regular USB type A then uh, two USB Type-A, that's the USB 3, and then also USB Type-C. 2.5 gigabit LAN, very nice. And also a yeah, regular audio connection to connect PCIe devices such as graphics cards and whatnot. You get two PCIe Gen 4 16 lane slots right here. And this is a small one that's the uh, one lane slot over here as well and look at this this one is actually reinforced this is a reinforced uh, PCIe slot for your uh, graphics card because you know graphics cards are getting very heavy so as you can see uh, it kind of helps a lot to have one of these reinforced slots check it out you can see it at the back this is the top one with all the reinforcements and uh, this is the bottom one <laughs> a lot fewer a lot fewer pins are connected so in terms of structural integrity the top uh, port is uh, is yeah it's uh, much sturdier in terms of storage expansion you get PCIe Gen 5 SSD slot over here and there's also a heatsink to keep uh, the SSD cool. Very nice addition. Yeah. And also a Gen 4 M.2 SSD slot over here. So it's a total of two M.2 SSD slots and four SATA ports. The power is delivered via one eight pin power connector over here and as for the fan connectors we get uh, one CPU fan connector and one two three case fan connectors so potentially you can attach two fans at the front one exhaust fan at the back very simple in terms of USB connections for the front panel uh, we are getting two ports USB 3.2 and uh, this one is uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 that's the 10 gigabit version DDR5 memory is quite fast as well it supports uh, DDR5 6400 plus OC memory and uh, you know if you've been following the news you may have noticed that uh, AMD is actually uh, working on improving that memory speed so by the time you are watching this maybe there is a bias out that supports an even faster memory but yeah two memory sticks for that one feature that isn't present on this motherboard is addressable LEDs so if you like your RGB lights and you want to control them with the motherboard through software uh, this is not going to be able to do that other than that, it is a superb product. I would even <laughs> go as far as to say that this is probably ASRock's best motherboard to date, just because of how capable it is. You know, it supports the most power hungry Ryzen CPU, no problem with this uh, power system. And it offers pretty much all of the features that you may want and you know plenty of USB connections at the back plenty of uh, storage 
capabilities for expansion. Very nice. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this motherboard. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.